right, so we get our suit. The suit car is going to be the starting of a new, starting up this video with this new, getting this new railroad car moved. We're going to put this one in this video. We got, we come back, we got our, uh, the owner of the place, got his 650. We're going to try and push this 89 footer in with help use it instead of the 170. There they go, got the John Deere 650 and a 320 on there. They get shoved in. Alright, so we just got this railroad car almost back in here. They're pushing on it right now, trying to get it right. We're just pushing it back in here. Getting it ready to go. There they are with the bulldozer and the track hose trying to get it shoved in there. Oh. Alright, so we got the railroad car in here about as far as we can at the moment. We have to take some trees down to make it fit because the butt of it needs to go around that way and the trees won't let it go. There's my dad, he's in the 320 getting some trees moved. So we just got all these these trees right here cleared. The 320 got them moved, and we're gonna got all them out the way. So we're gonna try to push it in here. Got the 650 down here on this end to shove, and then we got the 320 on the other end. Come on, those are yeah, 650. Keep pushing. Probably gonna have to put the chain. Oh, she's sliding. We might have to hook the chain back up to the 320. The reason why we didn't have to flip this one over is because these have a uh, big underswung beam in the middle of them. Um, so they slide easy with just it. Whereas that other one, it didn't have it. So you had to, uh, so we had it flipped over so it slides good. But it's going right across there is where this one's going. This one, it's a lot bigger than that other one. This was, this is an 89 footer and the last one was a, like a 50 footer, I think. Just got, we had to take down a few more trees to get it shoved up in there. But we about to get it, we're gonna shove it in this little place over there. All right, so they got it to where they can get it shoved in there and they about to shove it on across. That chain thing. Change. I don't know about it. About that chain. Might need to come off of there. <laughs> Alright, so I just come across to the other side of the bridge. Got over here. We about to push it on across we just about got it across we still got some a little bit of shoving to do on it i think we got to take down like one tree and then we'll be good get the ends dressed up and be done with it there's a railroad car there got it just about pushed across to just come over here because we uh had to get that chain i was worried about it getting covered up on the dirt so i brought it to my dad's attention and we came over here and got it they over there, they're still over there. They're gonna try to push it across. All right, so just got in our uh, PC 170. 
walking it down here to where we're going to put the railroad car in because we didn't have quite enough Move the 320 so it don't get hit all screwed up. Seated on that bank, good enough. Thought he was just gonna cross that aside. I've never seen this go down before, so I don't, I don't know how this is gonna work. So we just kind of evaluating the situation. Uh, I don't know if my dad's real sure about taking it across there now that we moved the dozer out the way and moved the 320 back here closer on the back to get it moved it back here and put the bucket on it get it closer to to it and get it to mash down so if it tries to go if we can save it you know with it try to do something i don't, I don't know all right so we done looked at it and kind of thought about it for a minute what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to we're gonna get the 170 back off and we're gonna try and put the 170 put the bucket down on it and make it kind of make it try to get it out of angle and shove it over there and shove it some more then try to go across is what we're gonna do all right so we got the bridge got it masked down and pushed across a little bit more to send the lizard kind of scared me didn't know what it was but we got the bridge mashed down some more and pushed across got it where it's good there's my daddy bringing the 170 across it now And we're going to see if she'll go this time. We, it's just kind of a little iffy before we had it probably about that. With that uh, little hook thing right there, that's probably where it's sitting. It's probably about where the end of the railroad car was sitting for. So now we got it all the way up there. And that's a lot better. But we're in the home set now. Ain't got very much further to go. Once we get the track over across this side, we can take, hook on, and drag it the rest of the way. And then we'll fix them ends up, and it'll be ready to go. Come, coming on across with the old 170, bringing her on. Brand the one, the one 
seventy on. Getting the three twenty bucket on the end down there to make sure it don't rock or anything. Just doing, it's doing pretty good. Coming on. So we got pretty, pretty much done with this bridge. We just got to get it level. It's kind of leaning towards the left. So we're gonna try and pick up on this left side and see if we can make it resettle. What we normally do is slide it out of the way on the end, you know, and get it and shove some dirt under there. But as you can see, here, let me zoom in on it. them two trees right there. They right there with it. So you can't really, can't really move it over, you know, too much because it'll hit them trees. So we're gonna try this one. See if it'll work. Just got done with this bridge. Just got all these ends all fixed up and stuff. Got all that did. And this is gonna be the end of this video. Please like and subscribe. Later, YouTube.